In tonight's COVID conversation, uh, coronavirus outbreaks have been emerging at colleges and universities all across the country as students uh, return for the fall semester. Some schools have even had to shut down their campuses entirely because of those outbreaks. But St. Mary's College in Moraga has so far been able to buck this trend with no reported cases since classes started three weeks ago. The school has more than 450 students living on campus and offers more than 60 in-person classes, which are all held outdoors. For more, we're joined live tonight by Dr. Corey Cook, Vice Provost of Academic Programs and Planning at St. Mary's College. Dr. Cook, good to have you on tonight. We appreciate it. So, Thanks, uh, Alex. It's good to be with you. Let us know. Yeah, absolutely. What, what is different about your approach at St. Mary's College? How, how, how do you think you've been able to avoid any positive cases? Well, so we're in the fourth week of classes and we're in our third round of testing. And we have a pretty robust testing protocol in place. And frankly, I think our students are doing a spectacular job of, of stemming the spread of the disease. As we know, there are really only three things that slow the spread. It's good hand hygiene, it's physical distancing, and it's wearing face coverings. And our students have been doing an exceptional job of that. Uh, we reduce density on campus. So we have about a third as many students living in residence halls as normal. Each student has their own classroom, uh, sorry, has their own um, uh, bedroom. In their only students that are allowed in in-person classes are those living on campus. So we try to you know, avoid mm -hmm. the spread of students coming off campus and off campus. Uh, but really it's the students who've done a good job at this point and we're obviously gonna continue to monitor and be vigilant uh, and be ready in case we have an outbreak. You know, and you talk about the students being being so involved, you know, in this whole process of trying to keep the campus safe. How important is it? You know, it seems when you look at the outbreaks across the country, you know, it does come down to the students and how much they buy in to wearing the masks, distancing from one another, taking part in the safety measures. What, what has been the safety message that you have presented to the student body? Well, I think, you know, there, there's a lot that institutions can do, and we're fortunate. We're able to have classes outdoors when the air is a good quality. We have a lot of outdoor spaces. We're able to use our, have our dance classes, for example, move from studios into our rec center where they have big, wide open spaces and good airflow. We have small class sizes generally, which is an advantage. But really what it comes down to is that our students are doing a good job. Uh, they're taking the health protocol seriously, and, and they understand that not only are they keeping themselves safe, but they're keeping their friends safe, their, the faculty and staff that are on campus safe. And so it really takes a community effort. And I think the communities come together to really recognize what a challenge this is. And that while we hope to be able to open more in the spring, being able to do so really depends on how well we adapt this fall and how able we are to take care of one another. All right, so I'm sure you have, obviously, a contingency plan in place. You know, you don't like to think about th this happening, but what, what, what is your plan and how are you going to respond if and when you, you have a positive case or, or you know, or God forbid, a, a larger outbreak? So part of our planning for fall, and, and most institutions in California, frankly, had to do this without a lot of guidance from the state. So we ultimately went about planning for what would be best for St. Mary's. And it turns out that when the state guidelines came out, we far exceeded those. But one of the key things that we worked towards, and we worked very closely with Contra Costa County on this, was identifying enough isolation and quarantine space on campus that should we have students who test positive, they could actually be isolated and quarantined on campus. So we, we do in fact have plans on top of plans, obviously having a lot of classes outdoors and then we have uh, bad air quality, which results in those classes switching to remote. Our faculty have had to be extraordinarily flexible in, in you know, planning for this fall. Yeah. We have faculty who are teaching classes in person while we have remote students participating remotely in the same class. We've used technology heavily, but it is a lot of, I think we're on plan you know, G or H right now we are anticipating any sort of eventuality because our, our top priority is the safety of our students. Yeah, I think the key the key word is is certainly flexibility for uh, for all of us and, and of course for uh, for you in higher education. I appreciate you coming on tonight to, to break down what you have going on there at, at St. Mary's. Uh, Dr. Corey Cook, course, Vice Provost you. of Academic Programs and Planning at St. Mary's College in Moraga. Have a great night, thank you. You too, thank you.